running, 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 running. We got late for the flight. So today I'm actually in Calgary and I got the bank draft. I don't want to show the name on it, number on it, but uh, the bank draft ready to close on the Calgary property. Yes, it's almost uh, actual. The closing is on 23rd October. Um, yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys the property, give you guys a tour. And also I'll share the numbers, you know, how much I bought it for. Uh, and I'll be meeting the property managers and get to know about what's the potential rent, what's the vacancies, which neighborhood I bought in. So all those details, stay tuned. So one of the key thing, if you want to have a successful reconstruction projects, then you got to have a solid reputable builder that you have to invest in. So after doing a lot of research and uh, my good friend uh, Navjot's suggestion, I found this builder Brookfield and uh, his realtor helped me out to uh, get the lot with this builder and he they are very reputable in calgary especially southwest calgary so the property that i purchased is in southwest calgary so now i'm going to the lawyer's office to get the signing done and then we'll go to the property so here i am at the builder's office and look at this office it's so beautiful okay Yep, here you go. Perfect. I'll give you the other half. Finally, here I am in the neighborhood. These are all the Seaton Villa Street. Okay, so here we are. This is our property. The black and white combination. Complete vinyl siding with a front deck. Main floor plus the second floor is the upper unit and the side door for the basement unit. Of course, there is a parking in the back. Okay, so let's go see. Okay, so before I get to the tour of the property, one thing about the location, this property is located in Seaton, Seaton Villa Street, and uh, Seaton is the city that is located in Southeast. From Calgary, it's exactly 30 kilometers. So by drive on uh, regular hours, not busy hours, uh, it's around like 27, 30 minutes. In busy hours, probably 35, 40 minutes in this particular community it's actually coming up community that is ranked one of the best place for living in recent years this particular property actually located literally 12 minutes walk from the hospital the one of the big size hospital majority of the people you know work uh, who lives in this area and also world's one of the biggest uh, YMCA the you know games and athletes uh, all the workouts um, happen YMCA is also within five to ten minutes walk and there is a future school that the construction is going on that's like within five minutes walk and uh, within three minutes walk for a nice beautiful play area where you there is a skateboard playing area and uh, basketball and some school wings for kids and also uh, beside that there is a small shopping complex convenience store Dairy Queen and some features and on top of it there is all the major restaurants banks shopping malls cineplex shoppers drug mart cabc rbc all different uh, malls are actually just uh, literally four minutes drive from here so it's it's very convenient uh, location for people to live in this neighborhood okay so let's go with the tour so to start with that's the main entrance as soon as you enter you can see like nice beautiful door pretty standard i would say uh, but triple pan that's something i like it so the sound doesn't get into the house that easily and i like this feature here like as soon as you enter you have this office area and look at this door so they can like they use the space very well so if you're working busy you don't want your kids to come inside just close the door and you're open to talk when you're working or you want your guests to come in so it's a it's a cute like 8 by 10 ish office area it's a fourth room in the house and then we go upstairs so it's a two-story home with a legal adu there is three bedroom two bath with a master bedroom ensuite upstairs so will that we'll check that in a second but also we have the powder room here for the guest so this is a pretty standard one thing i didn't like i wish they gave me a little bit nicer vanity and then very nice vinyl flooring on the main floor but in the second floor it's all standard carpet i chose the paint color nice and light gray um, the my most favorite thing in this house is this area this is something that i really really loved it because if you look at 
pretty damn huge living area and with a big pa a patio door of course i have to install the patio and then look at this kitchen damn beautiful and modern that's what at least i think let me know what you think in the comments below and and look at their attention to the details none of them i have upgraded all the things that are you're seeing here are including in the price so pretty much all the these things like came up with them so they choose and look at that nice beautiful oven stainless steel appliances fridge even the range hood and a nice backsplashes the subway tile pretty standard but what i really like is this colors color scheme white cabinets and uh, this cabinet color is pretty much like matching with the floor so that's something i really liked it and also you, cabinets are like those long cabinets makes it more modern and if you see they use the space very well they have plenty of cabinets within this looks like a small area but there is a lot of cabinets and look at their attention to details even this for the spoons my wife always asked me and also this something that mamta really wants to have is this pantry so there is lots of space for a family this is very good enough area with all the features and the dining area too like you have a huge living area and the dining area and of course you have two car parking in the back so let's let me show you this here before we go up and the basement so look you have the uh, unfortunately in here in calgary they don't do the concrete they said they put the gravel and he said it's pretty much good enough um, to have so they're not worried the snow gets there but again um the the road that is between the houses that the alleyway like we have in windsor actually here the city takes care of snow removal and here we got to have a, a small deck and uh, landscaping that's something owner has to do but yeah what do you think about the living and the pantry and the appliances and this is also my other favorite one nice double sink with a you know with without upgrading giving this kind of cute little features actually tenants would love it especially for me as an investor and also for first time home buyers they would love those features the closet pretty standard um with a double door so here we have the door that goes to the basement and that's the entry that goes into the basement so this is the fire rated door and also look at all the um, you know what do you call knobs they're all like you know nice black color matching with the floor and all the you know wiring they made it such a way that uh, people would love it so and now we are going upstairs then we'll go down there are a lot of things i really love here in the in the second floor so first of all to start with i really love the size of this so technically i have another second living area where i can have a tv room or study or work whatever very good size and a decent high ceiling probably like 9 feet ceiling and this is something that a lot of people love to have is having the laundry within the same floor where you have your bedrooms and they give the appliances as well literally for both the units even the basement unit and the main floor unit they gave the appliances including washer and dryer and if you go to the master bedroom lots of sunlight which i love to see and a pretty good size and with ensuite and a walk-in closet so if you one thing that i didn't like in this house i wish they should not do it is this popcorn ceiling i don't know if you can see it it's a little bit older style they use the popcorn ceiling on every floor that's one thing i wish they should not have used it pretty good size with the shelves it's not big but it's decent size and also one more cute feature they added just only this area um, for the uh, look and feel purpose they did the metal and this is the ensuite they give nice my friend has been sink couple sink dual nice quads and a standard tile and one piece tub and shower nice and clean with a subway tile around again nice clean standard honestly not like high quality not like low quality at all and even the cabinets they're pretty decent nice smooth closing and also this feature this is something that you know um good to have like 20 minutes 30 minutes setting up the fan so no exhaust the fan you just set it up so it will uh, take all the moisture from the washroom 
and we got two more bedrooms again the size is pretty decent it's almost 1800 square feet so there is two more bedrooms with lots of sunlight and uh, another washroom so technically this house is a five bedroom three ba three and a half bath so pretty good size so before i disclose the price don't scroll the bar to the end to see the price for now just tell me what do you think and the second bedroom also pretty decent probably like nine by nine or nine and a half by 11 or 12. standard nothing fancy nothing crazy just a decent size and a clean carpet of course brand new and even the doors are actually not bad a decent quality they try to keep the quality decent okay so let's go see the basement and then we'll talk about the numbers okay so here we go so this is one area they are still working on the floor um, and here you can see vinyl flooring and this is nice and solid actually pretty damn solid and nice solid railing clean again you can see the popcorn ceiling you can see all these stickers where either paint is missing or some stains or some scratches so the basement height is nine feet ceiling except where the duct work it's eight feet ceiling and another cool thing that i really like in this one is two separate furnaces you can see there is two fur furnaces so both units have their own thermostat have their own furnaces but what i didn't like it is they don't have separate meters i wish they should have done separate meters that way i could just charge them separately so unfortunately only one hydrometer only one gas meter even though i have two two separate furnaces and also one more cool thing a lot of toronto builders or ontario builders they do hot water tank rental and here it's electrical and owned so that's a cool thing and here is the best part a legal second unit and the way they designed this unit is damn cool so as soon as i enter on the right side is a big closet for the jackets so you can see nice and cool good size standard and the cool features is here you can see nice decent again washer and dryer they gave me and look at the door stoppers too like you know they're very detailed like they they didn't do any cut corners they did the door stoppers and you see that small rubber to keep the floor clean and then even they gave all the appliances including the dishwasher for this unit too it's completely finished unit and of course like i mentioned it's illegal and where you see that bump there it's seven feet ceiling and where you don't see that it's a eight feet ceiling so look at the kitchen pretty good cabinets and it's a one bedroom one bath and a kitchen with an open concept living and dining pretty decent perfect for a couple and on top of it they added this additional space kind of semi finished they didn't do full finishing but lots of storage so under the um, staircase they made it a partial finishing with the drywall if you if we want we can put a floor in future and just paint that uh, even without that still they can put all their unnecessary storage stuff so pretty good storage option for this size unit and nice standard like same wall pool uh, same appliances same company with the warranty they got all the appliance warranties and nice backsplashes and a nice decent colored cabinets like you know smooth closing as well which i like it good amount of cabinets for a one bedroom unit even look at this one they utilized every corner for the space every corner as much possible same thing here so that's good and double sink too and quads too so they didn't cheap out and of course you get the fire egress window and of course the ventilation system setup control and like i mentioned earlier both units get their own thermostat so we don't have to worry about one unit fighting with the other unit and also look at this you got more storage more shelves and the washroom also pretty decent you can see like nice quads as well decent tile subway tile around one piece tub and they give the shower rod here they install the fan along with the the ventilation 
so they have an option to select for 30 minutes or 60 minutes not that much noise not too bad here again what do you think so far and also last and final the bedroom we kept the closet open so nice decent probably like 10 by 11 ish bedroom size and with a big window so yeah that's pretty much it with the tour now let's do some guesswork for the so you guys have done lots of guesswork with the pricing so here it's time to disclose how much i invested in this property so basically uh, i purchased this property for 660000 yes that's correct 660000 and um, i put 20% down so in the current market my interest rate is 5% interest rate with cibc so i'm just closing so it's a current rate um, it's in october if you're watching this video later on october 2022 is when i'm right now and uh, i met the property manager she actually leased out a lot of places in this pocket she said it will take at least you know maybe conservatively two to three weeks to lease the place and there is a decent demand it seems uh, vacancy rate she said it's pretty low because the quality of units like this will rent out and upstairs see she said including utilities i can get 2300 or 2200 conservatively including utilities and the lower unit including utilities she said um, conservatively 1400 or very conservatively 1300 and out of this rent probably four to five hundred dollars is my utilities so my net income will be three thousand dollars or three thousand to three thousand two hundred that's the projections right now so my mortgage per month is two thousand seven hundred ish so pretty much right now i'm not gonna be break even probably i will be minus hundred to $300 including the insurance property tax I don't know how much the property tax is going to be I'm assuming that it's going to be 4,000 give or take and insurance it's a new property so you know not that much and the good thing with this brand new property with this builder they give two years warranty for pretty much all the cosmetic things you know anything that wear and tear and uh, 10 years for the structural and other warranties for like four years or five years so decent warranty because of the good people and the community is growing personally that's why i loved um i was excited to invest into it and actually my wife was kind of thinking maybe let's move here for a few months i don't know and let me know what kind of other content that you would love to see from me let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this tour hit that thumbs up button and if you still haven't followed me follow me on instagram and subscribe see you on the next video